Hi, I'm Justin and today we're going to be working on my truck. So a couple weeks ago the check engine light came on. Um, so I took it to the guys at O'Reilly. They took a look at it. They just hooked their little machines up to it and <clears throat> said that it was just a oil pressure sensor that was out. Um, so as you can see, my check engine light's on. Supposedly it's a pretty easy fix. I would hope I took it to the dealership. They confirmed that it was just the check engine light. And so I, but they wanted like $150 when the part was like 50 bucks. So I'm gonna try to change it myself. Hopefully it works. I'll take you along for the ride. So I found the oil pressure sensor, it's right down there. I'll try to get a better view of it from the bottom. Yeah. It's right there above the oil filter. So just unscrew that and screw the new one in. Well, that wasn't fun, <laughs> but I was eventually able. I didn't have the right tools, but I made do. I pulled out the old one, the new one's in there. So let's, uh, let's try to turn it on and see if our problem's fixed. Engine light's still on. Maybe I need to drive a little bit. All right, so it's all done. It was kind of a pain in the butt, uh, but it is as simple as unscrewing this, the oil pressure sensor, and screwing in the new one. Um, the Check in, engine light's still on, but I ran over to the auto parts store and had them run the code again. It is just the oil pressure sensor. I checked on the truck. It is reading oil pressure now. So they just said it needs to go through an engine cycle, which is about 50 to 100 miles driving. Uh, or they said there's a little trick you can do by speeding up to highway speeds on the highway and then kind of letting your foot off the gas and coasting and doing that about three or four times. And that kind of tricks the engine. Um, but it's all fixed now. Uh, if you found my channel from this video, uh, I do woodworking DIY around the house. Uh, if you're a viewer of my channel, uh, this was just a kind of one-off video I needed to fix my truck, so uh, that's what I'm doing. And uh, I didn't find much information out there, so I wanted to do a video uh, because when I looked up how to do this, it was a really old video on a truck uh, from five or six years ago. So I wanted to kind of do an updated video. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, if I didn't have the tools to do it correctly, I used channel locks. It would have been a lot easier with the right tools. So working with what I got uh, and it, it did the trick, but it was a little bit harder than <laughs> using the right tools. Uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.